Here he comes. Hey, I, what's up, man? Was on my mind as I thought thought I had today off from my uh, both jobs. I got I got my one job going at two thirty, and then I was thinking about signing up for a uh, you know open mic tonight, which would be like five thirty, and that would be like the first open mic ever. But okay. um, I was listening to videos on like YouTube for like other people. Yeah. And uh, mo- most of them say, like, go, go like, check out an actual open mic before you ever, like, go sign up. Be- you know, like, almost like you know what you're getting before before you kind of go, go up and embarrass the shit of yourself. What are your thoughts? I think this is a, a really a question of self-awareness. Like, mm-hmm. if you can go there and, and suck your face off, like, just totally embarrass yourself and be cool with that, like go mm-hmm. in and expect to suck and be cool with that, and it, and it doesn't, it's not going to deter you from going back again. Then go tonight and do it. But if you feel well, like if you if you go up and totally embarrass yourself, and and then like that may mean you never go to a comedy club again and never try it again, never try stand up again. Then, mm-hmm. then get a little more data, get a little more research. Here's like the struggle though, because I mean I was like expecting not to have to work for like anything, like. You know, just, like, my my mindset to today was, like, focusing on, on that, like, be, because you got to be there, I guess, at, like, 5.30 to do, do, do like, a sign-up. And, like, based on my schedule, it's not going to work. I got, like, I got to work my, my one job at 2.30, which would be catering, which is probably, I'm assuming it's going to take till 5, maybe 6, 7. I guess in, like, my mindset is, like, just to show up and, like, just to check it out, though, like, today. That is such a winning mindset if you can do that. Like, if you mm-hmm. can go there, if this is a dream of yours, or even just to try it out, if it's been on your mind for a while, the best thing you can do is just go out and try it and stop thinking about it and stop over planning things and just go out and do it. Mm-hmm. That's, the, like, I don't know how long, like, how long you've been thinking about doing an open mic? Like, actually, 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 probably, like, like the last like week, but like okay. how long I've actually listened to comedy though? I mean, years, you know. Okay, but even that, like the faster you can go from idea to doing mm-hmm. something about it, mm-hmm. is going to determine how much you win. Because there's a lot of there's a lot of people who wish they could do an open mic, and then they it takes them years before they go off and do it. So if if you're only a week out, that's actually pretty yeah. spectacular. Like, if you thought about it a week ago and now you're actually going to go off and do it, that's pretty amazing. The fast you can go from idea to trying it, not and expecting to be brutal, like, brutal, especially with, with no preparation because you're going to be working two jobs and all that kind of stuff. Like, yeah. you're, you're going to go up and just suck. <laughs> awesome, right? Like, that's the best, right? It's well, great. The mindset in my mind is just to, you know, I mean, being 24, just start fleeing sh- the wall figure out what's gonna stick what's not and then like start taking more preparation in life whether it's with this or like other things because it's experience 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 uh, and i think you could uh, re- relate to that like the more experiences you kind of force yourself into the more yeah. like you can kind of say like you've done this or like you're you're ready for the next thing or the next thing it's just going and seeing if you enjoy it, even mm-hmm. part of the process. And if you want to get better at it, you can. Like, listen, you, if you if you wanted to dedicate the next eight years of your life to being a stand-up comedian, <laughs> you could get really good at it, right? You could. But trying it, like building some kind of momentum. And, and do it as part of your story. Like, if you go up, right, having not practiced, having wanted to do this for a week and go up and do it and bomb and be like the – be laughed out of the place, like, in a bad way. Like, get off stage and tomatoes thrown at you, and then yeah. you become the greatest community of all time. Like, that's that's such a great story, man. That's going to be inspiring tons of other people where he said, you know what, I, I hemmed and I hawed and I waited six and a half months before I went off and did my first one. It's not as strong, right? As long as you can handle the emotional aspect of you likely sucking and then not taking that personally to mean that you suck, it means actually that you're awesome. Like the fact yeah. that you would have the confidence to go off and do the thing that you're terrified to do with very little preparation 
expecting to suck and then sucking. I think that is so character building. I think that's the ultimate way to build your strength as opposed to saying, I'm not ready, I'm not good enough, I'm going to practice for six months before I even take my first shot. I think it's the best thing you can do. Sounds good. Thank you. All right. Let me know how it goes, man. Good luck tonight. I will. Thank you. Also, if you want to know what I think and what other successful entrepreneurs think about building confidence, check out my new 254 Confidence Series where every day for the next 254 days for free, I will send you a 30-second to 5-minute video in the morning to help you build unstoppable confidence. The link is in the description below. If you want to be more confident, you need to surround yourself with things that make you feel confident. Realizing that any big endeavor is the collection of a lot of small steps that came before. If you're doing work that you love, you're more likely to follow through. You're more likely to do it because it doesn't feel like work because you love doing it. Raise your standard. Apple at the core, its core value is that we believe that people with passion can change the world for the better. Not one drop of my self-worth depends on your acceptance of me. If you like this video, check out the one I made on how to take action now. The link is right there next to me. I think you'll enjoy it. Continue to believe, and I'll see you there. Initiate the action. Take action. Taking action. Taking action. Do the action. Act now.